Hey everybody, it's Tuesday here at Witches of the Moon and I'm Rhiannon. This week's topic we are discussing um, tarot and magic and how you can use your tarot cards in your workings. Um, I was, when I was thinking about how I wanted to start it, I, just, I think I just want to kind of give a few ideas um, and tell you a few of the things that I do. Um, this is my unicorn tarot. This is the first tarot deck that I ever got. Um, it is the one that I use the most. Um, it's pretty worn on the sides. Um, I think I've had it almost 15 years now, maybe a little bit longer. Um, anyway, um, one of the things that I like to use my tarot cards for is meditation. Um, if there is a particular something that you are meditating on, maybe it's family, maybe it's something like that. You know, you could pull the uh, Ten of Cups, which to me is is the big one for family. Um, if you're trying to persevere through something, you could pull the Strength card and, and um, use that card to meditate on. Um, the same thing goes for your workings. If you're doing a spell for um, love and family, mm. you could pull... You could pull that Ten of Cups card. Um, you know, you could pull whatever card corresponds with the type of working that you're doing. And, you know, for me, if I'm using a card, a lot of the times I will, you know, flip the card here and have it before. Because I use candles a lot. I'm sure you guys can tell that. But I would have that card here and then I'd set my, my candles out and I'd meditate on that card and what my intentions were with the spell. Um... You know, there's there's been a couple times that I've even taken a couple of cards um, and slept with them under my pillow, hoping for a little bit of um, guidance that way. Um, you know, my husband uses, actually he uses um, a regular deck of cards. And, um, you know, he, you know, has his own little system that he's worked out for, you know, flipping the cards and what they mean to him and um, taking guidance from them that way. And you can do the same things with um, with these. You know, maybe, for instance, um, other than just regular spreads and certain things like that, if I'm sitting here mm. and I'm meditating over, um, you know, something that, that is going on and trying to communicate with spirits and things like that, you know, I listen and, you know, there have been times I've been sitting here and, you know, I've heard, you know, flip the card, you know, three cards down, that kind of thing. And, and I use it like that, but, um, I don't use them very often when it comes to my actual workings. Um, a lot of times just because, um, I don't want to risk something happening to them. I don't want to risk, you know, wax getting on them. I don't want to risk messing them up in any way. Um, my cards are very special to me. So if I use cards in my practice, I use these cards. Um, like I said, they are my first cards and they are the cards that have, to me, have most of my energy in them. Um, I was trying to think if there was anything else I wanted to talk about. And I feel like there was. I'm... I've got a cramp in my foot and I'm trying to adjust. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything else that I really wanted to mention because meditation and um, having them under my pillow are really the only couple of things that I've done other than using them with my, my candles. Um, but those are the only ways that I've actually used my cards. So if you do use tarot cards in your practice... Um, or oracle cards. Oracle cards work the same way. And a lot of times oracle cards. That's what I was going to tell you guys. That's it. Oracle cards work a little bit better. Um, for specific somethings I think. Especially depending on the type of oracle, or, oracle deck that you have. Um, so I think you would use them the same way. If you're looking for guidance. If you're looking for love. If whatever you would pull that card. And you would use that card to meditate with. Um. But that's what I was going to say. Oracle cards may be a little bit easier than tarot cards for some people. Anyway, I would love to hear if you, if you use them. I'd love to hear how you use them. And um, until next week, bless be.